Facebook taking to Twitter to send out a worldwide apology to the huge community of people and businesses around the world who depend on us. We're sorry. It continued that they were working hard before thanking users. Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp were all down for hours. Also, apps that use Facebook to log in their users, Messenger, even video streaming, crippling home webcams and thermostats. People, they get used to it to use one thing. If Facebook is down, now what? Like everything is down. The outage coming at the same time that the media and tech giant is again being scrutinized for its role in furthering hateful speech in the interest of making more money. A Facebook insider who claims to have thousands of pages of internal documents expected to testify in front of Congress today about the ways Facebook hooks users to spend more time by allowing misinformation to flow. According to written testimony received by other media outlets, she's going to compare Facebook's actions to those of Big Tobacco, saying the media giant puts profits above all else. If they change the algorithm to be safer, people will spend less time on the site They'll click on less ads, they'll make less money. Facebook whistleblower Frances Haugen told 60 Minutes she hopes lawmakers around the world see the need to step in. To get the fortitude and the motivation to actually go put those regulations into place. And Facebook getting a lot of time in the headlines of late. They had just put the brakes on rolling out a, an, a, an app service specifically for kids, an Instagram for kids. That was after it was revealed that their own internal investigations found that young women often felt poorly about themselves when using the app. Reporting outside of Facebook headquarters in the East Village, I'm Kirsten Cole, Pix 11 News.